What is up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel where we uh, do shit Colts way. It ain't always the right way, but we're going to get it done. So today I'm going to do a, a, the video is going to be quick, but it's going to take just a little bit longer to actually do the update. But I've got a 2018 XLT F250 and, and all the 2018s, 2019s, 2017s come with Sync 3.0. Um, they got an updated Sync 3.4 that you get on the 2020s and 2021s. So I'm going to show you how to, how to update your 3.0 Sync software to the new updated 3.4 on the new vehicles. Um, now this won't work if you got an older one like, like my Ford Touch, it's gotta be Sync 3.0 or higher. But uh, just follow along with me. I'll, I'll show you how to do it. It ain't gonna take too long of a video, but if you got navigation, the process will probably take, it's, it's maybe an hour and a half because it's got to download on a USB drive. But uh, you can drink some lattes during that time or whatever, but we'll head to the truck real quick and uh, I'll show you what to get. Well, scratch that. My neighbor's flag over there is messed up. Your man's finna go fix that. And if you don't like it, get your ass off my channel. I'll be back. All right, we can't have old glory flying like that. Now, oh my God, it's a sign from the Lord. America's back, son. We ain't gonna take y'all shit much longer. What? How did I catch that on camera? That's awesome. If you don't like that, you don't do shit Colts way. That's the bomb. All right, let's get back to the video. I'll stop any video anytime for old glory. As you can see, I think mighty highly of her. Yes, I do. You should too. All right, anytime you get in the old duty right here, prerequisite is you're gonna have to crack open a latte. And I can do whatever I want because it's my damn channel. So here we go. First thing you gotta do, get in your truck. Um, you're gonna have to either take a picture of this or screenshot it or whatever. So uh, when when you open up, then when the screen comes up, you're gonna wanna press, uh, oh, come on. I knew this thing would smoke a Raptor all day. All right, what you're gonna wanna do is go here. Uh, so you won't be on settings, but you'll go to settings, then you'll go to general. And then you're going to scroll down till you see, okay, right here, about sync. So I have software version 3.0 and my build is 19205. So either take a picture of this, screenshot it, whatever you got to do, but we're, we're going to go from 3.0 to 3.4. It's like the 2020s and 2021s have. It's just cleaner, cooler, and all around better. So 3.0, and you will need this build. I don't know what yours is going to be. Mine's 19205. So when you get that, go back to your computer and uh, get you a USB stick, and I'll show you what you need to do from there. All right, so what, you, what you're going to need is a Windows computer and a USB stick. Uh, this is 64 gig. Um, I think you can use an 8 if you don't have navigation, or like 16 or 32 if you do have nav, but I, I would just use at least use a 32 for everything. So um, I'll leave a, a link to this website in the video description along with a, a good USB if you don't have one. But you'll go to this website, Super simple. Scroll down here to where it says version 1.4.2. So click that. And then down here, it's gonna say something about installer. You know, it's in, so click this or open that. And then it's gonna say, do you wanna make, a, allow this app, whatever, yes. And then next, and then this is where it's gonna save it and then install and then finish. So it's checking for update, installing, downloading, blah, blah, blah extracting don't know why but my phone stopped recording so once it downloads here in the corner and you open it it's going to bring it's going to bring this up right here so what you're going to want to do is select your region so I, i'm in the united states canada and mexico i wish i was in mexico drinking some lattes but i'm not so i'm in the u.s and the version that i have is um we went to the truck earlier and I showed y'all how to get that. So I had three, zero, one, nine, two, zero, five, one, nine, two, zero, five, three, zero, one, nine, two, zero, five. Double check that a couple of times. I'm in North America. And if you have navigation, click this. If you don't, don't click it because it'll mess something up. So I don't have navigation. So we're going to go down to advanced settings down here. Auto detect, leave that like it is and then we'll put show all releases and then just leave this application re release brands as, as it is as released. 
So what you'll do here is just double check this again. You're in the US and then I, I don't have nav. So apply settings. And then what you're gonna do is search, you're gonna plug your USB drive in. So let me plug mine in real quick. So let me plug it in and we'll just, if you don't see it right here, you can refresh, refresh. There it is. I have a Lexar. It's, it's named Colt Shit, so I know that's mine. <laughs> so now the new version in the region right here, we're in the U.S. and Canada. Click that wherever you're at. Click where you're at. Version. Now I'm going to want the newest, which is this one, uh, 3. Sync 3.420351. So click that. And then map version so this is just some notes i guess it's just some updates it's done to it and map version i have no nav i didn't click that little navigation thing on the other page if you have nav it's going to show you uh something about maps click the maps it'll be like 2019 maps or maybe 2020 by now um but so just map version i have no nav non-nav this is the sync version i want to go to the top one because it's the newest and United States, Canada, Mexico. Just recheck all this stuff. So then go down here to start. And it's gonna say, if you have a 2020, you cannot do this. Or a 2021, it's gonna brick your radio, your APMI, it won't work anymore. So if you have a 2020 and higher, you've already got Sync 3.4. So you don't, you don't need to be watching this video at all. But so, and, and if you have my Ford Sync, which is before Sync, you, you can't do it either. You have to have Sync. So you have to have the new the new version of Sync, like Sync 3.0. You can't have my Ford Touch. So it's gonna say, do you wanna continue? You don't have a 2020. Uh, I do wanna continue. Final warning, yes, confirm. You do not have a car. Um, sorry, my phone just did low battery. So it says final warning by clicking yes, you confirm you do not have a car about function in tw manufacturing in 2020. That's correct, I don't. So the USB drive has already done this, blah, blah, blah to use existing files. Do you want to format the selected USB device? Just press yes. Warning, all data will be lost on your USB drive. That's fine. Click yes to format and continue. So this is gonna take a while. Um, I'll just pause it and stop watch on my phone and see how long it takes. And uh, I'll let you know. But it does take a little while. I'm not exactly sure because this is the first time I'm doing this. When it's done, I'll, uh, I'll restart the video. So just, Get you a latte, kick back, and uh, we'll be back soon. All right, so it uh, took uh, 14 minutes, a little over 14 minutes for mine. I don't have nav. Yours could take a lot longer. I do have good internet as well. Um, it says uh, if you want to update your log, uh, you can if you want. Um, I'm not, not going to do that, um, so no. And then, like, what, would you like to update to the current version from blah, blah, blah to, to the new version? So... Um, what I'm going to push is yes. So you just, when you get to this point, push yes. Um, and then it's going to be like a disclaimer. Okay. And this is all new. I've never done this before. So we'll see how it goes. And installation complete. Um, you may now remove the USB. So sweet. So I'm fixing to remove this sucker. Now we'll go to the truck and plug it in. All right, so I'm coming back to the truck. Uh, I'm gonna start it real quick. Cause it's probably gonna take a little while. I don't want nobody's battery to drain. So start your truck. I got my USB drive now and you're gonna have to plug it in one of the ports, one of your USB ports. So right here. So I'm just gonna plug it in this one. We'll see what happens. Uh, we'll see what's gonna happen. Oh, then, it, then this thing come up here on the said screen said, updating system software, restarting system. And installation complete. You may now remove your USB device. Updates will take effect the next time. No way it was that quick. You may remove your... Okay, I ain't 
I ain't doing nothing. Let me wait for a little bit. Please insert USB stick. It's in there. So that's pretty sweet. And I, I don't know how long this is going to last. Uh, I'm going to put a, a timer on the old Garmin again. So extracting app package. Uh, we'll just sit here and wait. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'm going I'm to get off here and I'm going to um, do a time lapse for you. Because I, I don't know how long this is going to last. So we'll do a time lapse. All right, uh, 11, a little over 11 minutes for me. For some people that probably have nav, it's going to be a lot more. Um, but I, I don't know. It's enough time for another latte. I do know that. Uh, let's see what it says. Update successful. Please remove USB. Boom. I removed it. Now, this is all new to me, so we'll find out what, what's going on. But maybe I just have to. Uh, okay. I was going to cycle the truck on and off, but I'm going to just leave it on and see what it does. Maybe I bricked it. No. I got faith. I got faith in it. Well, Raptor's coming up. I guess that setting still went from foreskin, for, foreskin, foreskin when I changed it. Let's go ahead and cycle it. Damn, look at this new update. Do you want to turn on the following features? Y'all want to turn them all on, son? You can adjust preferences any times and settings. Adam, automatic system updates. Yep, yep, yep. Confirm. Automatic system. Your vehicle will check for updates automatically. Close. Look at that. That is so fresh and so clean, son. View networks. Uh, we'll, I'll, I'll do all this later, but let's check Let's check all this out. Uh, audio. I mean, it looks so much better. Uh, the climate screen. I wonder. Oh, the climate screen. Legit, son. Way better. Let's see what I can do with an XLT on i can control can i control the fan no still well let's see here i still can't control the fan with an xlt but or my xlt um i can i can do a bunch of other things though that i couldn't on the old climate screen which is cool um add phone i'll do that later apps i'll add all that later settings um cool so anyway, this is the this is the sync system that's on the uh, 2020s and 2021s. It's just updated. Um, also, if you have the navigation, your maps will be updated to the 2019 maps instead of what you have now. Um, so pretty cool. Uh, calm screen. What is that? Okay, I didn't have that, in my other. So that's pretty cool. Let me zoom in and show y'all. I don't know why anybody wants to be calm. That ain't. That ain't for me, but sweet. So that was relatively easy. I hope I made it easy enough for y'all. Um, I'm just kind of looking at the changes, but it's cool to have now. So I'll go through here, add my phone and everything. But as you can see, it wasn't that hard. A couple lattes later, you get it done. So let me turn this off and uh, we'll see. We'll see what we got to do next. All right, so another cool thing is, is I actually went um, up here to my sources and I clicked Sirius XM. It saved all my stuff. Uh, it saved all my presets, so that's pretty cool. And then I went to the um, AM FM and it saved all my stations on this as well. So, but that's pretty cool. Hey, look, I want to give a, a, a big thank you to um, Anthony, one of my subscribers. He sent me an email and, and he actually gave me the idea to do this video. Um, so without him, I wouldn't have been able to do it. But uh, I hope that I hope this helps y'all. Um, it's it's super super damn simple. You can do it in about four lattes, four or five. Um, now I don't have navigation. If you got nav, you don't have a peasant model like me. It might be six or seven. But I mean, it's cool. You know, uh, I got a 2018 rocking the the new Sync 3.4. It does look a lot cleaner, and it seems really smooth. Like there wasn't wasn't any lag or nothing like that. So um, I'm, I'm excited about it. I'll get in here and set my phone up and kind of go see. I think there's some new things for CarPlay with it too. I'm not 100% on that, but um, look, I just want to say uh, thank you, Anthony. I appreciate that, and and look, I appreciate each and one each and every one of y'all that 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 watches my dumbass. Uh, 
and my subscribers and just i appreciate it man i like interacting with y'all um i'd love to start doing this more um you know it's it's i, I, I just i just like people um and i like doing shit my way <laughs> and uh there aren't many places in the world you can do shit your way and not get not get uh get in trouble or whatever it damn sure ain't like that at work i get my ass chewed out but i'm still gonna do it my way but uh look i appreciate y'all thanks for watching um if you haven't please like and subscribe and uh you know until next time drink them lattes god bless